convicted of murdering a Bedford County couple has yet again petitioned Governor McAuliffe for an absolute pardon and parole. Jens Soaring says that he did not kill his then-girlfriend's parents back in 1985. And his attorney, Stephen Rosenfeld, says there's evidence to prove it. Today, Rosenfeld announced his client's petition and discussed that so-called evidence at a news conference and a screening of a documentary about Soaring's case. WSOS 10's Bethany Teague explains why Soaring's defense team says Governor McAuliffe should pardon Soaring. Yen Soaring's attorney Stephen Rosenfield says new DNA evidence that was not able to be tested at the time of the 1985 murders proves that his client could not have killed Derek and Nancy Haysom. He says Soaring is blood type O, a type that was found at the crime scene, but that DNA testing shows Soaring was not the contributor of the tested blood. Rosenfield also says that a British detective and lecturer concluded this summer after a five-month investigation that Soaring's initial confession to police was false. Soaring now claims he took responsibility for the murders to protect his then-girlfriend, Elizabeth. He asked to speak to law enforcement in order, from his vantage point, to protect the woman that he loved, Elizabeth Hasem, from facing murder charges in America and being eligible for the death penalty. Rosenfield filed a petition with Governor McAuliffe's office just yesterday asking for absolute pardon and parole for soaring. In Charlottesville, Bethany T, WSLS 10. Well, after today's announcement, we reached out to Major Gardner in Bedford County for a response. He played a significant role in the 1985 investigation. In a statement on the Sheriff's Office Facebook page, Gardner says in part, quote, Mr. Rosenfield's announcement this week does not change the status of Jens Soaring's conviction. I remain confident that he perpetrated these heinous crimes. In June of 1990, this case was tried and decided in a courtroom and not in the media.